Hello and welcome to careerride.com. Myself Nishant and in this section I am going to cover some Oracle interview questions and answers. First question: Hot backup versus cold backup. A database backup while it is still up and running is a hot backup and it must be in archive log mode. Cold backup is a backup while it is shut down. The database doesn't require being in archive log mode in this method. The benefit of hot backup is that the database is still available for use while the backup is occurring. A cold backup is easier to administer the backup and recovery process. Cold backups doesn't require being in archive log mode and thus slight performance gain as the database is still writing archive logs to disk. Next question: Can we protect our PLSQL source code? Yes, we can protect PLSQL source code. Version 2.2 implements a binary wrapper for PLSQL program to protect the source code. The utility available in this version transforms the PLSQL source code into portable binary object code and thus protect from exposing your proprietary algorithms and methods. Next question: Explain the difference between trigger and stored procedure. A stored procedure can accept parameter while a trigger cannot. A trigger cannot return any value while a stored procedure can. A trigger is executed automatically on some event while a stored procedure need to be explicitly called. Triggers are used for insertion, updation, deletion on tables while stored procedures are often independently work in the database. A trigger cannot be written in a stored procedure. However, the reverse is not possible. Next question: Why do we use cursor variables? Cursor variables allow you to pass them as arguments to a function which in turn enables you to share results. They allow you to assign contents of one cursor to another variable. Using a single cursor variable you can fetch from different result sets. Next question. Explain the use of online redo log files in Oracle. Every Oracle database has a redo log which records all the changes that has been made in the data files. These files then enable us to replay the SQL statements. Oracle writes all the changes to the redo log before making any changes in the data files. If something happens to any data file, a backup data file is restored and a redo log helps in doing so. However, a database can only be recovered if it runs under archive log mode. Next question delete versus truncate and drop the delete command is used to remove some or all rows from a table after performing a delete operation you need to commit or roll back the transaction to make the change permanent or to undo it it causes all delete triggers on the table to fire truncate removes all rows from a table the operation cannot be rolled back and no triggers will be fired Truncate is faster and doesn't use as much space as a delete. The drop command removes a table from the database. All the tables, row, indexes and privileges will also be removed. No DML triggers will be fired. The operation cannot be rolled back. 